So we're here with a little 2002. It's first full throttle dyno pole. Looks like it's making about 145 horsepower. <laughs> Pretty funny. This is the engine in this little guy. And so uh, back to the old school days, you couldn't really filter the inputs in the ECU uh, with software. So we're having a little bit of a struggle with the signal to the map sensor because it goes to this fitting on the plenum right here, but it's right next to this runner. So it's got a ton of pulsation in it as the engine runs through its RPM curve. So we're filtering it the old fashioned way. Wire feed welder tip, cut it off, shove it in the hose, and then shove the hose back on the fitting so that it damps the signal to the map sensor and gives a more stable value. Here with the little 2002 with the M8 on it. Like all old ECUs and particularly anything you buy used, it's been damaged. And of course the guy that he got the ECU from didn't let him know that. So. The first struggle we had was trying to get the cooling fan and the fuel pump to work. The outputs on the ECU that are normally meant to do that weren't functional. But luckily, MoTeC back in the day would allow you to use leftover injector outputs that weren't being used for other functions such as the fan and the pump. So you turn on alternate injector functions, pull the wires out of the ECU and move them to the correct pins, uh, and then the cooling fan and the fuel pump will work off of the injector outputs since the regular auxiliary outputs have been damaged on this particular unit. And of course, in keeping with the theme of damaged outputs, we figure out once we get the engine running that the injector outputs three and four are not functioning correctly. They're coming up with a short circuit and they're dropping the output as it's sitting there trying to idle or whenever we go after the throttle. So we can't use, uh, the first idea for a workaround was to try and set it up with high low injection and try and use the second set of injector outputs. Uh, but we already used those because of some damaged auxiliary outputs for the fuel pump and the fans. So that wasn't an option. So the other workaround was to simply make it uh, batch fire by running two injectors off of one drive. And that lets us run two cylinders off of the two remaining injector outputs uh, each that will, uh, will allow all, all four injectors to run. So we have cylinder one and four on one output and cylinder two and three on the other. This is just uh, one of the guys that works here at Vision Motorsports, personal little hot rod. It's 68 BMW 2002. So we're in here on the weekend just trying to get it to run right on the dyno and get it so we can drive it around. It's not a race car by any means, it's just something to have fun with and he built the engine for it and Nick is over there putting that restrictor in the uh, hose for the map sensor so we get a smooth signal to the map. We are trying with this little thing, but it just does not want to make 150 at the wheels. We got there. 151 and a half. Buck 51. So we got the super magic hero run when it was cold after lunch. It made 151 horsepower. Uh, and other than that, it just 
repeats 149, no matter what you do, mixture up, down, timing, in, out, once it's all the way up to temp, <laughs> it just won't make 150. Here's the super power run from lunch. It was nine. We spent the next five or six with it warmed all the way up trying to make more. You can see it's a little bit leaner and, and that's probably because the manifold's cold and the temperature sensor isn't quite picking it up. So it puts the same fuel in, but the air density is a little higher because the manifold's not as hot. It makes a little bit more power. That's pretty consistent. Yeah, 9 and 14. Once you cool the engine off, it gets a lot happier. Yeah, 14, 51 for 39 and 51 40. It just, once it warms up, it's, it's down to 149, but still not bad considering what it is. Yeah. All right, so that's job done on this little uh, 2002 BMW of Burt's. <clears throat> what do you think, Bert? 151 horsepower. Awesome. <laughs> it's better than not running at all, right? Yeah. Cool, so, yeah. 151 if you get the engine cool once it gets hot. You've got the intake hot, everything else is hot. It'll only make 149, so we cannot get it to make 150 unless we cool the engine off, so that's fine. When he's driving it on the road, it'll have enough airflow to the radiator. It'll stay cool anyway, so that's cool. Anyway, so that's, uh, yeah, the end of... Uh, the end of old school tuning day. Good job driving, Nick. Thank you. <laughs> Signing off from Vision Motorsports with the uh, Motec M8 and the 68 BMW 2002.